Hello everyone, for this tutorial I will demonstrate how to traverse a directory recursively using the OpenDir function available with GNU GCC compiler. Okay, so let's begin by opening Visual Studio Code and then create a new directory. I'm going to call this uh, listdir and in lister I'm going to go ahead and create a new file called lister.cpp in the lister.cpp file I'm going to go ahead and declare include the rent.h which allow us to access the open dir um, function then include io stream for standard in and out declare using namespace standard and I'm gonna go ahead and create the lister function I'm gonna pass it in the init string path and I'm going to go ahead and um, declare struct the rent star dir. Okay, this allows us to access um, some of the attributes belonging to the directory. And I'm going to declare dir star dp equal to open dir uh, init string path. So, uh, and I want to convert this to a standard C string. Uh, so, so we have a dir, dir pointer, and if uh, the pointer is not null, right? Then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loop through directory. So while dir equal to read dir dp and it's not equal to null I'll go ahead and um, and declare a couple things here so first off I want to check if the directory is um, containing dot or dot dot so if we compare the string and it's one of these we want to skip it okay so we do a continue And if dir type, okay, so if dir dt type is a actual um, directory, then we'll go ahead and um, set the init string, right? Init string. Um, sorry, we're going to go ahead and set the uh, path, right? String path equal to a knit string plus slash plus their D name. And then we'll go ahead and list uh, 
call the function again to list the actual directory. So string path. Okay. Now, in the case if we have two slashes in the beginning of our path, we, we want to get rid of it. So um, I'll go ahead and create another function called uh, check path string. So let's declare it up here. And um, we're going to go ahead and declare string check path string 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 path. So if string path string path uh, length minus one is equal to slash then we want to uh, do a substring so string path equal string path substring so basically what we're doing is we shorten the string by one if we find that there is a slash in front of it okay then return string path and don't forget to declare the prototype so go ahead and declare that prototype same as for uh, lister I'll go ahead and uh, declare that prototype up here okay so um, back to the lister function so in the lister function um, we got to go ahead and uh, set the init string path equal to um, basically we're going to call check uh, check path string that we created up there and we're going to pass in the actual init string path and if the init string path con contains the slash we're going to strip it out okay now we're going to declare else and else is not a uh, directory we're going to basically copy this whole thing up here just so if it's not directory we're going to go ahead and um, it uh, check for this slash and then um, just concatenate it to the string path but what we want to do is we want to output the actual path so do a C, C out string path and end line <coughs> and um, so once we're done with this we want to do a, go ahead and close um, declare close dir and pass in the DP pointer that we created okay so that should complete our um, function for the list dir for listing to the actual directory okay so next thing we want to do is uh, in our main routine um, and in the lister we don't really return anything so it's a void so in our uh, main routine we're going to go ahead and declare int main int arc c char arc v and we're going to basically um, look at the arguments that's being passed into uh, this uh, C++ routine so if arc c is less than equal to one then we can declare um, c out arc v zero 
and ask the user to enter a directory, right? And then just do exit one. Otherwise, we basically do a lister or arc v1 and do a return zero. Okay. So, so it expects uh, an argument from the user and uh, let's save this routine. Okay, save this um, file and then let's compile it on, um, on the command line. So I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal and uh, let's cd to lister and let's compile uh, using G++ oops and we had a couple issues here so let's go back and correct them and sorry some of these are incorrect and so D name we supposed to say have D underscore name I, I forgot to have the underscore here and what else do we make mistakes on okay let's do save let's go back and recompile one more time okay and then arc C so I declare ARC this should be arc C and let's go back again and then recompile okay and so now that all works so sorry for the mistype mistype and uh, and so now we have we should have a uh, program called lister and so type in lister for example uh, slash user local and you can see that it recursively go through each directory and list the files out pretty cool and you can do a lister um, dot and it will list basically all the um, all the files underneath this directory. Okay, so I do lister uh, dot dot um, let's say tilde c tutorial. and it lists everything out for me okay so I hope you enjoy this um, kind of short tutorial uh, please remember to support me uh, by subscribing to this channel and uh, thank you very much for your help see you later bye